series on how to create a surface mount component circuit board. In this case, you need to start off, this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this using common components, uh, hand soldering. Uh, first off, to start off with, you need a schematic. Uh, today, we're going to be building an H-bridge. This is the H-bridge here. If you know schematics, then you can follow this. If not, then you need to look up these. These are NPN transistors. There are four of those, and they're the way the picture is drawn dictates how they're going to be placed on there. You've got just in briefly. This is the collector, the emitter, and the base, and 1K resistors all around. Output two and output one are the outputs to the motor, and then here these lines are the lines that are that control which way the H bridge is going, backwards, forwards, if, whether this is positive or this is negative. Now you can see down here I have another uh, box. This is a AVR Tiny 25. This is a microcomputer. Uh, it's a whole computer on a chip and it's about the size of a penny. We're going to be using this to control this. <coughs> so now we have the schematic. The next step is to put this on a circuit form. And this is a little more complicated. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to print this out on a computer. And now it's time for some math. The computer prints at, let me move the paper here. We're going to be using a printer resolution of, of 300 dots per square inch. That means in one inch, there's going to be 300 dots, 300 dots. Now, we also know that in one inch, there is 25.4 millimeters. And since most pinouts of integrated components are written in millimeters, we need to divide 25.4 by 300. And we get 11.8. One. So now you need to go to a program like the GIMP. I use the GIMP, uh, the GNU Image Manipulator program, and you need to draw out a circuit. You would draw, you know, whatever you're doing, the components you're using, you need to draw them out and then measure from here to here. And based on what the data sheet says, you would then figure out how many pixels we're going to fold. We're going to do this in the next part, but for now, the important thing is to remember, uh, get the GIMP or another program that can let you manipulate the pro manipulate an image. Set it to a resolution of 300 dpi. And then when you draw on it, make sure you figure this magic number of 11.81 pixels per millimeter. And that's it for part one.